I'm in Geneva today. This is where I grew up for the biggest part of my life and the weather is so nice so I thought I would be doing some outdoor sketching somewhere. I need to find a spot. I don't know where I'm going yet but let's see. I want to keep walking along the lake to find a peaceful spot where I can sit down and paint because I'm not completely comfortable with walking outside yet. <laughs> It makes me a little bit self-conscious, even though it's fine, nobody will judge me or anything, but yeah. Salut. The water is really, really clear here. Um, this is the Lac Léman or Lemon Lake, which is like the biggest lake in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. And the mountain you see here is France. like to include some plants and flowers in the foreground of my illustrations so if you cannot find your perfect spot it's good to walk around and try to gather inspiration I found the perfect spot we can see the lake we can see the mountain we have a tree here I forgot about the water for painting I have a glass and only my bottle of sparkling water so <laughs> I think I will use this to to dilute my gouache I don't even have a painting palette, so I'm going to use these cards to put my paint on. So this makes me look like a lion. <laughs> I found a mushroom. I'm pretty much settled down. I'm thinking about turning this uh, lake landscape into something of a dreamy summer landscape. So let's see how we can compose that with all the elements that are around us. I just looked around and took inspirations from what I saw along the way here. The corn-like plant, the flowers that we saw earlier, some grass, some other grass with some small flowers, maybe some mushroom, grapes, a cat, maybe some cloud and a woman because I want to include a human being in my illustration and also this bird. I want to add this tree here. In terms of colors, I usually like to stick with my favorite colors so that I don't overthink every step. I've had this palette for in my mind for a while now. Because I want to paint something that doesn't look too realistic, I will try using some deep green, pair it with some coral pink shade. I will go in with the background. I will use the green shades first to paint the lake, the, the ground. I'm actually starting to feel a little less self-conscious because I'm more focused on what I'm doing now. So I think it's a good thing, right? I've used different shades of green. The one that on the ground is a little more yellowy and the lake is on a little more sage, sagey green side. I'll get started with all the plants and the leaves here first and then think about how I want to paint the animals after. You're my ocean view. I'm on vacation when I'm with you. Every day I wake up on an island for two. I'm done with this tree here. Um, the trunk is not very much detached from the rest of the illustration. So this is an element that I will be able to improve. I want to paint this foreground leaves here in some sky blue shade, a little brighter than this one to connect this background and this foreground together. After this, I will go in with some dark green detail to make the leaves harmonize again. <laughs> island for two 
we're not too bad with the leaves in the foreground now i'm going to outline the butterflies a bit i want them to be the same colors as the leaves so that they don't steal the attention too much the butterflies are ready <laughs> i think i want mm, this one to be very bright pink and the woman and the cat to be peachy pink a little more old rose I made the mistake of mixing the uh, old rose shade a little too early so now it's all dried out but I need to revive it with my sparkling water that is now not so sparkling anymore <laughs> Just going to paint a darker color on top. These swans, well, it's a little short for a swan, it's kind of look like a duck. <laughs> and this girl here has a striped dress. I didn't bring with me a fine brush, so I cannot do the details very well but it just to give an idea about how I could paint her then we have this cat that is on the peachy coral side building horizon here some trees with different shades of green I have pretty much laid out everything um, every element of the illustration has a color so now it will be time to go uh, with the detail to fill in like uh, the empty space to add contrast where it is needed for the pink elements i will use the blue as a shading color and for the green elements i will use uh, pink as shading and lighting color i covered the empty space behind this corn-like plant <laughs> with uh, the same shade of green but with a lot more water now i want to go into the flowers and add some white to make everything looks a little brighter because for now it's getting darker again because this is a striped dress i want to have this i don't know how we call this cat in english tigre um, so yeah i'm going in with the, the hair here with a different blue shade I want to add the jet d'eau here. I completely forgot about it. And this is the final sketch. I will show you a bit the landscape that I turned into uh, this sketch. I think this looks really cute. Actually, it's uh, really what I usually love creating. I will need to improve, for example, uh, how I draw the swans here. They look a little bit like ducks. Um, this shadow here is not too bad, but of course I need to harmonize it a little more with uh, the water, with the lake, I mean. Um, this tree trunk is not very visible. I think it gets too blended with the, the ground here. So I need to improve the contrast around here. I also need to work on the shape of uh, the dress and the girl if I decide to finalize the illustration. But overall, I'm really happy with how it turns out. The colors harmonize together quite well. If you like the video, please subscribe. I would not be bothered by that at all and maybe give it a thumbs up. So that you can see the future videos of my channel. See you in my next video. Bye!